Welcome to Muddy's Whitetail Watch. We're into the middle of October now, and this is squarely at the time uh, that, that we've kind of referred to last week, and that's the October lull. There's not a whole lot going on. It's a time when the expectation levels are high, a lot of seasons are open, and uh, guys are excited about being in the field, but the bucks just aren't cooperating. On our farm here, I'm getting lots of pictures of nice bucks, and some of them are really good, solid shooters, but they're all after dark. Now I'm gonna keep monitoring my Icon cameras, and as soon as I see that first bit of daylight activity from some of these bucks that I wanna hunt, I'm gonna figure out you know, where I can get into a stand in those areas where I can take advantage of it. Uh, I know that a lot of people can't wait to hunt, and, and I'm excited about it too, but I'm not gonna go into those areas where some of my better deer live and run the risk of spooking them. I'll wait until, like I said last week, either a cold front comes through, you know, at that point I may take a little bit of a risk, but really my start date is October 25th. And I've learned over the years that the rutting activity starts to ramp up around the 25th of October. Uh, I don't hunt mornings prior to that at all. It just seems like the bucks aren't on their feet after sunrise in the mornings. Without that rut to kind of get them moving and traveling around a little bit, uh, you know, they, they come off their feeding areas during the night. Typically they're way back in near their bedding areas by first light in the morning. So when the rut comes, they start milling around in the mornings, makes it worth hunting. The one thing we've got to look at again, uh, always through the season, you've got to pay attention to the food sources because if you find the food, you'll find the deer. Uh, their, their whole lives revolve around their stomachs. And we've been talking about acorns and how that pattern is the prevailing pattern. And I think that's still the case. Uh, we're starting to see more deer coming out into the open fields again. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit more activity around the green foods like the alfalfas and the clovers and any of those cereal grains like the uh, rye and the wheat, uh, those types of spots. Uh, the deer should be moving towards corn now as well because the, the corn is now at that stage when the deer really prefer to eat that. They won't eat it when the kernels are soft and, and spongy, but as soon as they dry down and start to harden, they'll hit the corn as well. So uh, that should bring you up to date on where we're at. It's, uh, it's a challenging time, no doubt. Uh, hit the cold fronts, watch your icon cameras and make sure that you've got some daylight activity before you make your move and, and you can make the most of this part of October. Be patient, don't ruin your best spots too soon. Okay, so now let me jump to some product uh, information. And one of the strategies that works uh, really well, uh, especially if you don't have the budget to buy a whole bunch of tree stands, is to focus on stands like the Muddy Vantage. And you can buy the brackets separately and you can hang brackets in a number of trees and you can have one stand that you backpack with you into all these different locations. So you can go ahead and prepare spots, uh, but you don't have to leave the stand behind. You can leave the bracket in the tree. When you come back to hunt it, it's real easy to pop that stand onto the bracket and you're back to hunting again. So you can stretch just a few stands over a lot of area. The other thing I like about this stand type is how quickly and quietly you can put the stand up. You know, really, with that style of hunting, you can be from the ground to uh, uh, fully engaged in the tree in as little as 20 minutes. Uh, so keep that in mind as an optional hunting style. You don't have to have a lot of ground to do that, but it does help if you can bounce around to a lot of different spots uh, so you keep from burning out any, any one particular area and you don't need a whole bunch of tree stands to do it. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, I look forward to visiting with you again next week when we're going to be just that one week closer to the rut. Every week now it should keep getting better. So keep checking back each week right here for Muddy's Whitetail Watch.